In this video, we are going to learn to draw the diagram of human respiratory system. So you need a pencil and a paper and let's get started. First of all, we will draw the outline of the face showing nose and mouth. From the nose, we will draw nasal cavity and from the mouth, we will draw buccal cavity. And both the cavities will pass through a common passage which is called as pharynx. Pharynx will continue in the form of windpipe or trachea which should be at least 4 lines longer. After that it will bifurcate into two branches called as bronchi and each bronchus will enter into lung. This is the left lung and this is the right. To draw the lungs we will start from the bronchi and we will go at least one and a half lines in the upward direction, come back and further go down to five lines at least. Total length of the lung should be six to seven lines. Notice that the shape of the lung is narrower at the top while it is broader at the bottom. We know that lungs are well protected with the help of rib cage and there are 12 pairs of ribs. 12 ribs are on the right and 12 are on the left lung and we are showing the rib cage only on the left lung. Starting from the bottom of one lung, draw a curve till the bottom of the second lung and make this line double. Make sure the gap between the two lines should not be too much. Extend these two lines below the left lung to make the first rib and then along with the lung here make the second rib. In the similar manner, we will make all the ribs in the left lung. We have made the ribs. Now in the right lung we will show only the internal structure in which bronchus enters. It divides and re-divides and further divides to form many branches which are called as primary, secondary and tertiary bronchioles. At the end of the tertiary bronchioles there are alveolar ducts which have balloon like structures called alveoli. So we will draw this now. These are the bronchioles and these are the alveoli. Now we will move to the windpipe and draw cartilaginous rings around it. We know that cartilaginous rings prevent the collapsing of trachea and we extend these cartilaginous rings up to bronchi also. And with this we have completed our diagram. Now the next important part of the diagram is its labeling. And I have told you earlier also that for, for the labeling we should first draw the horizontal lines which provide much neater look to the diagram. Preferably all the labeling should be done on the right hand side but if there is any need we can do some labeling on the left side also and labeling should be done in capital letters. Now this is the labeling on the right side please note all the parts carefully. Notice this part diaphragm. We have drawn here diaphragm and Diaphragm is the part which separates chest cavity from the abdomen or thorax from the abdomen is separated with the help of this muscular partition called as diaphragm. Label on the left side also and our diagram is now complete. So this is the diagram of human respiratory system. You need to practice this diagram 2-3 times to get better results.